Uh, obviously, it's an exciting time for me and my family. I think uh, we're, we're definitely looking forward to it. And um, obviously, to get out here and get a few games in will, will definitely be fun, kind of get up to the speed of the game and, and, and get going. So what made you decide to dis uh, you did want to go pro and not go to another year at University of Minnesota? Yeah, I think I, I wanted to make sure the decision that I come to that I'm both feet in, and um, obviously I, I took a, I took a few days, almost a week, to kind of weigh it out and, and see what I wanted to do, and uh, it, it came up over and over again. And both my feet were going for in to go pro and, and play in the NHL. Casey, when you left Buffalo back after the Worlds, you really had no thought about the Sabres at that point. You were focusing on, on Minnesota. Can you maybe re reflect back as to thinking whether you might be here in April or maybe maybe not this early, but in April or at some point? Yeah, I think uh, definitely at, at World Juniors, I think it, it crosses your mind, obviously, just simply because it's in Buffalo. You can see yourself playing in this, in this rink, in this setting in the future. And... Um, I don't know if I had a specific schedule or time frame at the time. I think, like I said, I was <coughs> focused on being at World Juniors. That's big enough stage for itself. So um, I think I was focused on that, focused on going back to University of Minnesota. Obviously, things didn't turn out the way we wanted them to this year. But uh, when the time came and I, and I had some time to sit down and think and talk with my family about things, I think uh, that this was the right, the right decision for me. Did what did you weigh over the weekend? Jason said that you guys talked last week and he gave you the weekend to think about it. Like, what, what went through your mind over the weekend, I guess, that made you call him on Sunday night or something? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of different things that go into it. I mean, obviously, um, we wanted it to be more of a partnership rather than, like, us two kind of clashing going at it, and we wanted to figure out what we both think is best for me, and um, I, I, we kind of went through it, and we, we agreed on, on pretty much everything there. So it, it, it went pretty quick, pretty smoothly, and obviously I, I'm definitely excited to be a Buffalo Sabre. How much did your coach resigning have to do with your decision? Um, Honestly... And not really it meant much at all. I think I, I definitely enjoyed having having Coach Lucia and having all those coaches at at the U for a year. And um, at, but at the same time, I, I grew up as a Minnesota kid. I wanted to go to the University of Minnesota. Um, that was my dream. I, I don't think it it was it mattered who the coach was. It was more of the pride to wear the M and and be able to do things like that. So. Uh, for me, I, I don't think that that weighed much into it at all. I, like I said, I really enjoy Coach Chia, but wearing the M was always was always my goal. What is this year like for you going from <coughs> Minnesota to playing World Juniors, and now you're going to be making your debut tomorrow I, or Thursday? <coughs> What's this all this whole process going to be like for you? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely been a whirlwind. I, I'm not going to lie. I think uh, kind of making my decision and traveling out here so fast, getting on the ice, and uh, Trying to trying to do the little things, get myself ready to play for Thursday. I think it, it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but um, at the same time, I, I feel like I've kind of been through it before. Last year is obviously a little different. Stages were a little different, but I went from juniors, high school back to juniors, right to the draft, combine. So all that stuff, I think, honestly, kind of kind of prepared me for it. And obviously, this is this is on a whole new level, getting to come here and play in the NHL. But um, it's definitely been a whirlwind. You mentioned Minnesota being a dream while you were growing up. When did the NHL become? Uh, it, it was always a yeah, dream. Good. I think uh, as young as I can remember, I want to play in the NHL. My steps were always kind of, I want to, I want to play high school and I want to go be a golfer and go to the NHL. It, it's pretty much every Minnesota kid's dream. So for me, I've, I've, I've definitely lived a pretty perfect life at this point. I'm pretty, I'm pretty lucky. My parents were, re were really, well, really good growing up. They supported me through everything, gave me all the opportunities I could imagine. So for me, that was, uh, that was probably, that was my goal and. Um, like I said, I grew up wanting to be a gopher forever, so that was definitely a great year. The end of the season was so weird for the gophers. Can you take us through that day as all those results were coming in? Were you guys hanging out? Were you texting? Were you ignoring the results? And, and then when did you suddenly realize it might be time to think about Buffalo when the result came in you weren't going to go to the tournament? Yeah, I mean, we, we were watching the games, I think. Uh, some of them weren't on TV, so we're following them on Twitter, on the call it hockey app, whatever. And literally everything was going wrong, pretty much. So, um, it was—I mean—it was a tough day. Like I think we were a really close group, and obviously we, we all grew up in Minnesota, pretty much minus four or five guys. So it, it was—it was a really close group. So um, having to say goodbye to the seniors, things like that, was definitely tough. Though they were really good guys, really hard workers, and really good leaders in the room. Was when it a couple days on? later, or was it like the next day, or when did you say to yourself, "Gee, I guess I have to think about Buffalo now. This season's over, and I have to move to the next step." Uh, you know, I, I think that's a tough question. I mean, like, uh, the season ends, and uh, like I said, you're all pretty sad. And um, for me, it was so early that I didn't even think that I was going to have to start thinking about what I'm going to do. I mean, 
there was like I think it was like 63 ways we make the tournament, one way we don't, and the one way that happened happened. So um, I wasn't honestly thinking about it. I was preparing to travel next week and go play in the NCAA tournament, and um, obviously that didn't happen. So for us, it's it's tough, but. I think it started to cross my mind over the next few days. I, like I said, I was hanging out with the guys, kind of saying bye to everyone, things like that. So um, it was tough, but it, it, it was probably over the next few days. In that sense, when you look ahead, should you play beyond the ice Thursday against Detroit? How do you prepare for that and the jitters and whatever? Just how do you approach that Thursday? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess I, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to try to approach like any other game I've played, I think. I'm one who likes routines. You can call them superstitions, whatever. But um, I guess I like my routines, and I'm going to try to stick to them. They've got me to this point, and obviously, um, coming to pro, these five, six games will, whatever it is, I think it's five, will help me out and find maybe give me some new routines, things that I need to do better before games or on off days, things like that. So uh, that's what I'm here. I'm here to learn, and I'm here to get ready for next season. Have any what? of the guys like Jack or anybody reached out to you? Yeah, I, I just met Jack. We went out to lunch, which was which was nice. Kind of get to know him. Obviously, uh, he's pretty much the, the face of the team, and um, obviously he's a really good player and makes some plays that other guys can't. And it was nice to get to get to know him a little bit. What How are some important? of your routines? Um, I don't know. I'm pretty <laughs> particular about my sticks and things like that. So I would probably say my sticks are the biggest thing. But I don't know. It, honestly, I don't even know like exactly what they are. Mm -hmm. I just I just kind of do them and. It's become so so regular that it, it feels normal. How important was that for you to have Jack welcome you like that um, and take you out for lunch? The face, as you put it, the face of the franchise. Yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 definitely something pretty cool for a kid like me. I think um, obviously being kind of a, a hockey player, you obviously know who Jack Eichel is. It's um, and getting to know him well and kind of having him welcome you in like that it is something really special for me. I think it's it's good to know that he's excited. I'm here and. And that he's interested in getting to know me. The guys who skated with you in the summer said you obviously fit in in that. It's summer, <coughs> obviously a little different. But did that show you you can fit in with guys at this level? Yeah, I think I think definitely. I mean, obviously getting to getting to do those skates and things like that, it helps me out a lot. Kind of gauge where I'm at and gauge what I need to do better. And um, I think those skates definitely have prepared me to to kind of make the step. And and like I said, I think. Most importantly, they tell me what I need to get, what I need to get better at, and kind of gauge where I'm at right now. Phil's obviously a Minnesota high school legend. Uh, I'm sure you met him in the summer. Have you, have you, I'm sure you talked to him today. What do you, what do you know about him? What do you like maybe about his coaching style that you've heard? Yeah, um, everything I've heard, everyone says he's a really good guy, really good coach. Um, he likes to play fast, play with pace. I think that fits my game really well. So. Um, it's it's definitely exciting. I think it's nice to kind of have a little bit of be able to relate to him a little bit, both playing high school hockey, things like that. Obviously, he came to the NHL straight from high school hockey, which is pretty impressive. So, um, yeah, it's good to have a little bit of relation with that and then both be from Minnesota. It's definitely something good. Were you in town early enough last night to flip on the TV and take a look? Uh, yeah, I got to the hotel, I think. What was it, like halfway through the first or after the first, just about in there. So, What were your impressions? I mean, I, I thought it was a good game. Obviously, it's a big rivalry with them. Um, it's 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 something that they needed to do. Obviously, go to Toronto, get a win. It is something that's really good for the organization, really good for the team. So it, it was definitely an impressive game, an impressive win. Casey, any significance with number 37? I mean, no, not honestly, no, not really. I mean, I, me and my buddies were kind of chatting. And my buddies from back home, like, what number should I wear? And um, I've worn like 11, 20, 21, 22. They're all taken. So. Uh, might as well switch it up and go for 37. From the outside, can you appreciate what this franchise has been through and the struggles it's been through over the last um, <coughs> number of years and, and, and just how much focus is being placed on the young core, including yourself, to help turn this thing around? Yeah, I think um, obviously I, I grew up in Minnesota, which is pretty far away from here. I, I won't <coughs> say I've really followed the Sabres. I was always a wild fan watching them. and. Um, but now that I'm here and uh, I see how big it is for the city, like uh, World Juniors, things like that, I was able to see how, how, how nice the fans are and how, how really dedicated they are to the team. I think I think I can feel the struggle a little bit. And obviously there's a there's a there's a big piece putting on the or big uh, big emphasis being put on the young guys to to kind of turn it around here. And I, I think there's a really good young core. Obviously Rochester's doing really well, and um, it's definitely exciting. How involved were the Sabres this past year in terms of keeping track of your development, communicating? Um, honestly, we, we didn't talk too much, like, 
I think they were really good at letting me kind of focus on what I was doing. I, I, like, there would be some guys there after games once in a while. I'd go say hi to them, but it wouldn't be anything longer than five minutes probably. So uh, it was really nice for me to be able to kind of just uh, play my game and then not have not have too much to do after the game or feel like I need to talk to anyone for too long. So it, it was really nice. They, not too much contact, and I, I really enjoyed it that way.